So I want you to expand how imagination and daydreaming and being clear about what we want can help us in creating that extraordinary, unstoppable life. I so love this question so much because this is why we connect. <laughs> you know, I feel like our imagination is the most powerful tool that we really do have inside of our beautiful brain is our imagination. And I agree with you 100,000%, again, a bajillion percent that our imagination is, is so, so I just want to share with you that every day, I don't need to have it in my calendar anymore. But when I was first learning how to dream, I would put a reminder on my phone. <laughs> I would put a reminder on my phone to pause and to daydream, to allow myself to daydream about how I wanted my life to be. Now, at that time, I didn't understand why it was so powerful. I just knew that it made me feel good, which is incredible in itself, right? Yeah. And so I did that. And so now a part of my practice is self-hypnosis, but in my self-hypnosis practice, or sometimes I listen to a hypnosis audio, but it's daily. It's my non-negotiable. It's what I do every single day. But inside of my self-hypnosis practice, I do something called mental rehearsal, where I'm visualizing my life the way that I want it to be. I visualize my big vision, and then I visualize my day. And I do this every day before I even get out of bed. I'm like visualizing my life. And now I know that my subconscious mind does not know the difference between real or imagined. So my brain, my subconscious believes it to be true. And I have been doing my visualization for my big dreams since July. My brain knows exactly what that visualization looks like. And so and so I love it. And today I added like a breeze that I could smell the ocean air mm -hmm. you know, to, to add more excitement to my visualization, but my brain believes it to be true. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a neural pathway in my brain and a neural network in my brain with my vision. So even though it hasn't happened externally yet, my brain doesn't know that my subconscious doesn't know that. So my, so my brain is creating this network of possibilities is what I call it of my dream. And how isn't a part of the visualization? It's what I'm doing in my visualization. It's how I'm feeling in my visualization. And I know that as I do this, that it is it is so real for me. And that's a belief that I have, that this is my real life. And so my imagination, I mean, I go into some incredible places. And as a result, what is happening is that my brain is trained to look for all the possibilities of potential. And it does exactly that. I have different glasses on so I can spot these beautiful opportunities that I would have never seen before. But I see them now. And I'm like, woo, that's part of my visualization. I don't know the how, but I know that the opportunities are there. And so everywhere I go, everywhere I turn, <laughs> I see possibilities to create my vision, to create what's in my imagination. That is so powerful because like I like I mentioned to you before, um, we hopped on a call that I've got my new office, my new place and stuff. And I was actually visualizing being here and seeing my clients and I was visualizing how the room is going to look like and became reality. And you didn't think... Yeah that long to to become a reality but I was visualizing myself doing exactly that 